need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's awake I need loss with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space You ain't soft, Miko. You a god. Whether you believe that, know it or not, or understand it or not, you a god. God ain't soft. And one day you gonna know it. One day you gonna rule the whole earth. And I'm not dealing with gods as soft people because we ain't soft. We once ruled the earth. That's right. And I understand that, big brother. But if you say if you keep doing the same thing over and you don't see nothing changing, boom. You keep being aggressive. You keep being aggressive and nothing changing. And you gonna change that? Miko, I, let me, I just told you, Miko, I'm not worried about changing everybody. The Bible says I'm, one, I got you, the Bible says one third going, now I, I feel you. Sometimes you, there's an approach you got to, give me uh, Ecclesiastes, right? Three, I'm going to show you something, Miko, because you're right, there is a time, and we're dealing right now. I'm not being aggressive with you, we just men, that's how we deal, that's all. You know, I'm not being aggressive with you, man. You my man. No, no, I'm not saying aggressive with me. I know. I'm I know what you mean, I'm but somebody else I'm might feel like others, yeah. right, somebody else may feel like yeah. that. Forgive me if I seem a little aggressive, but guess what? The scripture says Christ taught with authority. That's right. So the Bible says, we like I said, we've been taught white man Jesus coming out here giving everybody dolphins, trees, sunshine, and rainbows. We go. But that ain't how Christ got down. Right. That's not how Christ got down. Christ spoke with authority. You know what that means? Get your tail off the block and stop selling dope to your people. That's how Christ got down. That's why people hated that man. Christ, the, our people forgot. You, you, you familiar with the Bible, right? What Christ do when he walked into the synagogue and saw, saw people uh, selling things in there? What did he do? What Christ do? He whipped them and threw them out of the damn temple. That's what Christ did. It's crazy. That's kind of how, like, how the boys do right here. Right. That's, that's what Christ did. Christ wasn't soft. Christ, but don't get me wrong, Christ had compassion on his people. Like, we got compassion on our people because we're not saying all of our people not trying to change. Some of our people want to change. But to the ones that do want to change, we deal with them. The ones that want to keep selling dope to their people, keep murdering in their community, those ones we're going to speak against because we're not about people murdering our people in our community. We're not about selling dope to our own people in our community. We're not about that, Miko, at all. At all. Read what you got. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to, to every purpose under the heaven. So, hold on. You listening? Listen. Listen carefully. The Bible says there's a time and a purpose for everything under the sun. Everything. There's a time to be soft with people and there's a time to be stern and hard with people. Right? Read. Verse 2. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. That's what you that's what you witnessing, Miko. You witnessing because it sounds a little harsh. Cause sometimes in order to rebuild something, let's say this neighborhood, right? What do when when a neighborhood is gentrified, right? You you familiar with what gentrification is? When a neighborhood is gentrified means when another group of people moves into the neighborhood, right? What do they do? They tear it down. Then what they do? They build it back up to whatever utopia they want it to be. That's what the Bible's saying you got to do. In order to get people's mind to change, you listening, Miko? In order to get people to change, you have to break them down and then rebuild them back up. Hey, man, stop selling dope. Stop killing your people. Stop whoring your sisters out. Take care of your kids. Then once he, if he hurt his feelings, good. Maybe he'll be thinking himself now and That's stop great. doing those things. Now I'm, hey man, come here man. You know what, I was simple like that. Give me Titus 3 and 3. I was simple like that at one time, man. I used to hold my sisters out, man. I, I used to didn't take care of my kids. But guess what? When I became a man, I put away childish things. Right, right, Children right. act like that. That's right. Men act like this. Now I'm gonna build my brother up because I broke him down. Now I gotta build him back up. So that's all you're witnessing, man. In order to build our people up, we gotta break down all the foolishness in our neighborhoods, Miko. That's it. And no, that's not comely. 
That's not comely at all. That's that's a little change hurts, Miko. And it's supposed to. That's it's supposed to. Read what you got. The book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. Because Miko, we 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 not different than you. We all come from the same thing. I grew up in this. I grew up in Washington, DC, Miko. You know what I'm saying? I grew up, I grew up in this stuff. I grew up seeing my people get killed. I grew up around dope dealers and stuff like that, Miko. I ain't different than you. I'm the same as you. Right. It's just that when I saw myself in this Bible, I was like, you know what? I'm either continue murdering my people. I'm gonna continue selling dope to my people. I'm gonna continue uh going in and out of jail or whatever. I'm gonna continue whoring out my sisters, or I'm gonna grow up and be a man. Right. Be something that my son can be proud of. That's right. Right? So you will, um, See? continue to come out here. I, hold, hold on, I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna ask you a question. That's that's it. I want to build my brothers up so that one day I can come out here and I don't have police don't have to police us one day. We can police ourselves. Right. We men. We adults. Why other people got to come out here and tell us what we already know, Miko? Do we not know it's wrong to kill people? Don't say you don't because if you didn't know it was wrong to kill people, why we run or or or, or hide when somebody murders somebody? Do we not know it's wrong to sell dope? If we didn't know it was wrong to sell dope, why would police come up? We everybody, throw the pack away. Everybody sell dope and everybody kills people. Hey, so, I, that doesn't make it right, Miko. I understand. <laughs> that doesn't. Hey, Miko, I'm out here for my people, Miko. That's right. That. I'm out here for my people because my people that. are the ones that's afflicted. Right. My right. people are the ones that fill up the ghettos. My people are the ones that got their women going into Planned Parenthood killing their babies. Right. That's my people. That ain't everybody right. else's people. Everybody else's people good. They got Chinatown. They rule the world. America ruled by them. Hell, we about to vote for them in the White House. Uh, me neither. But nonetheless, they already got their heaven, Miko. My people looking for heaven, Miko. That's right. That's who I'm out here for. But like I said, we not different, Miko. All of these men you see before you was the same as you. We just grew up. It's like we telling you to grow up. If I was out here selling dope and stuff, I would be a hypocrite. I couldn't tell you not to do that. But guess what? If I'm not doing it, now I can't I can come out here and say, hey man, I know a better way. Do this. Right. Do that. Read what you got. The book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We was foolish also, Miko. We was out here dealing dope, sleeping with women that we weren't intending to marry, prostituting our daughters, murdering and stuff. We was out here doing that stuff, Miko. We was foolish too, Miko. Read. Disobedient, uh -huh. deceived, Reed. serving diverse lusts and pleasures, Reed. living in malice uh -huh. and envy, Reed. hateful Reed. and hating one another. Hateful and hating one another. Because in order to deal dope to a man that looks just like you, Miko, you got to hate that man. Because you know what's going to happen to him. You know he's going to overdose and die. You know the first time you, you know what our people do when they, they start dealing dope. First one on me, man. There you go. Why? Not because you you just a great salesman, the dope goes deal itself, man. All you gotta do is get hooked on it. So put this is dope. Make this dope right here. Right. Okay. You know the best drug you can give, Miko? This Bible. That's right. You right. in it, Miko. Right. Well, make this dope right here, like I just said. Right. Oh, I ain't hear you. Okay, my bad. All praises. Cause you in this book, Miko. This book about you. Give me Deuteronomy 28. I'ma show you that this Bible is about you, Miko. Cause how did our people get over to America? Yo. I don't know. They only they, they told they started us. off slavery. They, I'm sorry. They stole us. They stole us from where? I don't know. Over there. Over there where? Africa. In Africa, right? Yeah. Is that in the Bible? That's what they told us. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, that's that's a historical fact, Miko. Right. You they got pictures of that thing and documentation of that thing. That thing is for real, Miko. Now watch this. Watch this. Listen to what the Bible says happened to your people, Miko. Read. Uh, read uh, verse. Yeah, read verse 15. Listen carefully. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Keep in mind, this was after Moses delivered the children of Israel out of slavery to the Egyptians, right? So watch what he said. I I'm taking you out of slavery. Now, listen to what I'm about to tell you. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said to the Israelites, the Jews, if you break my laws, I'm going to curse you as a people. Listen to one of these curses. You tell me if this fits your people or the people over there in modern day Palestine. Verse 68. Verse 68. Listen carefully. Y'all listening? Listen. Listen to a curse that God put on our people for breaking his laws. Listen. And the Lord shall bring thee 
into Egypt again. The word Egypt simply means bondage. You don't need to get it. It means bondage or slavery. Because the, the, uh, the, the place that they was in in ancient Egypt was not called Egypt. It was called Misraim or the land of Ham. But God called it Egypt because Egypt means slavery. So read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord's going to bring you into slavery again. Read. With ships. With what? With ships. Call it and read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. This is You can read this in your own King James Version Bible. That's right. Deuteronomy the 28th chapter and the 68th verse That's said right. that the children of Israel will go back into slavery on ships. What? Right. Read. Right. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, huh? thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland no more. Your identity. You're not going to see your forefathers anymore. Right. I got you. You're right. Watch this though. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto, unto your enemy. And when you get off them slave ships, Miko, you're going to be sold to your enemies. For what? For bondmen. For slave men. And bondwomen. And slave women. Did that happen, Miko? Deuteronomy, I mean, uh, Jeremiah 17 in the fourth. Yes, Miko. Mm -hmm. Yes. Enemies sold to other enemies. Because you, you think it'll be Africans, right? Who got a Zondermen real quick? Get, get, give me a sound of it. Miko, I'm going to share a little secret with you that white people know that we don't know. We ain't Africans. We, we ain't Africans, man. Africans know we ain't. Now, who got a sound of it? Yeah, yeah. Somebody give me a sound of it, right? Watch this. Listen carefully. We not just Negroes up here, man. We steady. That's right. We encouraging you to steady. Because that, that, knowing is half the battle. If you don't know something, how you going to get out? How you going to, uh, what, what they say, uh, if you don't know where you, you've been, how you gonna know where you going, Miko? Right, teach. So we study so we can come out and teach our people. Give me, right. give me Ham in the Bible, right? Give me Ham. Now, the Bible calls Africans Hamites because after the flood, uh, you familiar with the story of Noah? I, mean, I, I started reading the I'm on the front part. I, don't, I ain't get that deep into it. I got you, man. We out, we out here, to, we, out, we gonna get you up to speed, Miko. So in the Bible, in Genesis, there was a man named Noah who God uh, used to deliver his people when he flooded and killed everybody on the planet. But he had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, right? So we're gonna read about Ham's sons. You see who they are, read. Yeah, they did, read. Mm -hmm. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Show them, show them it. This, this is a book written by them same white people that put you in the ghettos. Let me show you something that these white people, and not just them, Arabs, Chinese, Africans know that you don't know, that they won't teach you. Read. up. Read. We're going we gonna to learn about Africans. Read. Page 213. Ham, the youngest son of Noah in the Bible, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor. The progenitor means the forefather of. So Ham became the forefather of who? Of the dark races. Sounds like us, right? Ham became the forefather of black people. That's what they're saying. But let's see if it gets specific. Read. Not the Negroes. So Ham became the forefather of black people except Negroes. Who are the Negroes, Miko? You and me, right? So the, the book says these people know that Ham became the forefather of dark-skinned people, black people, except for these people on earth called Negroes. Right? right? So, if he's not the father of Negroes, but he's the father of black people, what black people is he the father of? Read. But the Egyptians, those are Africans, right? So he became the forefather of Egyptians, read. Ethiopians, those Africans too, read. Libyans, more Africans, right? Read. And Canaanites, and Canaanites, right? All those are African people, not Negroes. So if we're not Africans, Miko, who are we? And why is it that nobody will tell us what we are? You know, can't know the answer to that, Miko? Because we God's people, Miko. Right. We the Israelites that you read about in the Bible. The same Israelites that Moses went unto Pharaoh and said, let my people go. Right. The same Israelites that God said, if you don't let my people go, I'm going to bring plagues upon you. I'm going to kill you Egyptians behind my babies. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. 
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.